same idea some of our students so how damaging could that final half an hour be where you not so yeah, we knew it was going to be tough. Uh, obviously, that night session with the new ball um, and the start that the Aussies got off to was, um, yeah, it was, it was it was a great start. And if we'd have been able to scrap through and be sort of two, three down, then um, sort of opens up uh, quite a promising day tomorrow. But being five down is probably a, a couple too many, but we've got a couple of scrappers in there and a few to come, so um, we'll keep scrapping away. What's the way those players play against England, DJ, Mitchell, Scott, keep you confident you could turn this around? Yeah, you have to, and as I say, there's um, there's a lot of belief in the side, and those guys have had some re recent form, um, and uh, and hopefully daytime the, the batting conditions can be be slightly better. So um, we knew tonight was going to be tough with the lights and the new ball, but um, as I say, there's there's plenty of scrap to come, and we've got two guys in there at the moment who have uh, who are, who are coming off a, a good series against England. So hopefully that can then flow over into this series. Yeah, it's it's always it's always tough, but that's that's sport. People get injured, and um, yeah, it's uh, obviously the the workload increases when when you're a man down. Um, we're lucky we got a we had, we still had three seamers. Um, obviously, with Josh going off, it would have would be nice to go on tonight, sort of two three down. Um, knowing there's a big day big day for their boys tomorrow, but hopefully we can keep them out there, keep them coming back. Um, and we know there's yeah there's. There's a number of bowlers in there, a number of batters in that Aussie lineup that can bowl some part-time stuff and that can share the workload as well. So, um, yeah, it's uh, try and keep them out there for as long as we can and keep the big boys coming back. Just, just a quick more, do, do you think the day not just for against the ball game and involving batters is going to be massive? Like, obviously, I don't know, did you get the sense that when Australia batting in that middle session, they were almost batting time to make sure they could have the new ball under lights at the Yeah, I think we sort of had a rough idea of... Um, our plan was to try and bowl them out. Obviously, at the start of the day, as, as quickly as you can, because you knew that they, they if if we weren't going to, they were probably going to declare um, and have a crack at us under the lights anyway. So um, yeah, there is a lot of tactics that come into it, um, especially around that night session, and and it is a lot lot easier if you do have a new ball in your hand when when the when the lights go on. So um, yeah, I'm sure that was a, a tactic of theirs. If they didn't get bowled, if they didn't get bowled out, they're probably going to declare, and they're probably try, trying to bat as as long as they could to to I guess make the most of that last um, last couple of hours under the lights. Tim, can you just give us an indication of the, the feeling in the dressing room? You know, the crowd's baying, Stark's roaring in, New Zealand, you know, one for two. What was um, that like? I was still in the ice bath, so <laughs> you could hear the crowd. Obviously, the, the crowds are, are great over here. They love their cricket. Um, they get them behind their, their team. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's part of, of, of the challenge of coming over to Australia is, is dealing with the crowds and, um, and the noise that they make, they obviously get, as I say, get in behind their side. Um, and when they get off to a start like that, it really gets gets the crowd going. So um, yeah, it's something that that we know we're going to have to face over the next next few weeks. Given it was a bit of a furnace as well, is that the most intimidating environment in cricket that you've experienced, like that, in general in Australia? Um, I guess it's it's what you make of it. Um, if you if you let it worry you, then it's um, it, it's it's part and parcel. As I say, it's it's something that. The guys that have toured Australia before know um, it's pretty hostile out there, um, not only from the from the cricket side, but also, the, as I say, the crowd getting behind them, especially when they're doing well as well. So, it's yeah, it's something you know you're going to expect, um, and it's just how you deal with it. What, what did you make of the pitch today, and what do you expect it to do over the next day or two? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's quickening up, I think. Um, obviously, the new ball is still, uh, still um, plenty there. Um, and then uh, obviously depends on on whether how how much those cracks open up and 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 how the pitch deteriorates over the next few days. It's obviously had had two days under some baking sun. Um, so yeah, we just have to have to be one of those things we have to adapt to as well. And what did you make of Steve Smith's catch? Uh, yeah, he's he's been an incredible fielder for a long time. Um, he's taken a few of them, a few of those against us it seems, but um, but not only us. So he's he's taken a few in his time. So um, yeah, he's he's a great fielder and. Um, there's another another great catch from him today. Uh, Tim, we have concussion subs these days. Would you like to see consideration for a, a an injury replacement player? Good question. Um, yeah, I guess in other sports you have um, you have substitutes for for injuries and and obviously tactical reasons as well. So um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's uh, well, it's, it's not something I haven't really thought of. Um, but now with the introduction of of concussion subs and and whatnot, then I'm sure it's probably been talked about. But um, but it's something I personally haven't haven't thought about.